Wiki, 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 wiki. Oh, hi there. DJ One of Swords, Dan Amrick here, and pardon me while I practice my crush grooves for the inevitable house party that will no doubt erupt as soon as DJ Hero 2 hits my house in October. But you know, as I've been here cutting a fat beat, I was thinking exactly how does a DJ Hero track come to be? How does it come to life? So I contacted the folks over at Freestyle Games in England and I said, explain this process to me. And they said, well, you know, we take two songs we think will go together, we mix them up a little bit, we test it out, we have to then go get all the legal rights to get everybody happy. And I went, you know what, I don't get it. Why don't you show me how a DJ hero track comes to life? So I went to London and they did. So my part of the whole process is to put the mixes together. So this is actually one of the more complicated mixes that we've done, which is Benny Benassi versus Tiesto. As you can see, we've got the top here, this is the A stream. So this contains all of the Benny Benassi vocals. And then we have the B stream down here, which is uh, Tiesto. And then we have uh, some samples down at the bottom here, which are kind of like trancey laser zaps and um, like whooshes and white noise and things like that that you're triggering on the sample stream. Um, we build the mixes uh, and the gameplay simultaneously. So as we're making edits to the game, we'll start drawing them into this MIDI map here, which is representative of uh, what you see in game. So here we've got like a central crossfade note, and then you fade to the cross to right, and then you fade back to the middle. And all of these dots here are all uh, button presses. So one of the challenges with this mix was making the gameplay unique um, and uh, really build up an in intensity. We thought one of, the, one of the ideas we had was to write a phrase in the markup that you could then see in the game. So here, what looks like a kind of random assortment of buttons uh, in the game actually spells out DJ Hero. Next comes the really fun part, the scratching. Wiki 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 They come to me and we do what we call placeholder scratching. So I do some very simple, very simple baby scratches, just things that they can put in the mix where there is going to be a scratching segment. Um, and they work around that and then they build a structure for their mix. <clears throat> Once the structure is getting towards maybe 50% complete, they then come back to me and we pull up their Ableton project on the MacBook Pro and we record the, the scratches that they need directly into the project. I think the game just strips everything back and, and makes you learn the maybe two or three of the main principles of DJing and uh, it's, it's all about just being fun it's not about being a direct simulation and I think I think that's fine it's going to get a lot of people into DJing the same way that Guitar Hero got a lot of people into guitar so yeah I've got no problem with it it is what it is it's, it's fun DJ Blakey's right, it is fun, and you're going to have a lot of fun when DJ Hero 2 comes out in October. They've overhauled the multiplayer, there's a lot more options, it's a much more social game this time around. So, if you want to know more about it, go to DJHero.com, or you can check out my coverage at OneOfSwords.com. Until then, I'll see you when the tables turn. Wick, 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 wick. Alright, I'm ready. Now we should hook up a TV.